Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you the top 5 best portable monitors of 2023 through extensive research and testing. I have put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. For more information I have included links in the description box down below. And by the end of this video you will know exactly what the best monitor is for you. Now number 1 on the list is Espresso Display 15 Touch. The best portable monitor we've tested is the Espresso Display 15 Touch. Overall, it's a decent portable monitor with a few neat features to improve your workflow. You can connect to it via one of its two USB-C ports, and it works with various devices, including smartphones that support external displays. It has a responsive touchscreen that works well with Windows and Mac OS PCs, letting you easily complete work that requires touch movements, like content creation. It also has a few extra features, like a rotation lock that adjusts the image into portrait mode when you turn the display. What makes this better than most portable monitors is that it's available with different accessories too. One of those is its stand, which offers decent ergonomics, letting you place the screen in a few different ways. You can also get a case with a kickstand if you prefer. On top of that, it has great color accuracy and displays a wide range of colors in SDR, meaning the picture quality is good for a portable display. Number 2. Asus ProArt PA148C TV If you don't need all the Espresso Display 15 Touches high-end features, check out an upper mid-range option like the Asus ProArt PA148C TV. It has many of the same features and performs similarly to the Espresso monitor, but there are some trade-offs for the cheaper price tag. While it has a touchscreen like the Espresso monitor, it isn't as responsive and doesn't work with macOS devices, meaning you can't use the touchscreen if you want to connect to your MacBook. It also has slightly worse picture quality because it has a worse SDR color gamut and volume, but the overall accuracy is still excellent. Like the Espresso monitor, it has two USB-C ports that you can use to connect your devices, and it also has a micro HDMI port which is helpful if you have an older laptop with HDMI but not USB-C. It has a few advantages over the Espresso, especially if you want to use it in a well-lit environment, as it has decent peak brightness and much better reflection handling. Number 3. Asus ROG Strix XG16A HPE Although portable gaming monitors are less common than portable monitors for work, you can still find some options if you want a high refresh rate for gaming on the go. And the Asus ROG Strix XG16A HPE is a great choice. It's great for mobile gaming or if you need something on the side of your main monitor. It's better than the Espresso Display 15 Touch and the Asus ProArt PA148C TV for gaming because it has a faster response time, resulting in crystal clear motion with almost no noticeable blur behind fast moving objects. It even has a 7800 mAh battery lasting nearly three hours of gaming. It supports FreeSync variable refresh rate technology with G-Sync compatibility, ensuring a nearly tear-free gaming experience from almost any source. It has a 144Hz refresh rate, which is high enough for casual gaming, but if you want something with a higher 240Hz refresh rate, the Asus ROG Strix XG17A HPE is a good alternative. However, it costs more, so only consider it if you're going to take full advantage of the display. Number 4. Lenovo ThinkVision M14 If you aren't a gamer and want a lower-cost portable monitor for work use, the Lenovo ThinkVision M14 is a good mid-range option. You don't get the same high refresh rate as the Asus ROG Strix XG16A HPE, but it's still a decent office monitor with a 14-inch screen and 1080p resolution, and the text clarity is excellent. It's also very similar to the Asus ProArt Display PA148C TV, but it doesn't get as bright and doesn't have a micro HDMI port, which are the two main downsides to getting something cheaper. If you want something brighter, the Dell C1422H is another good option, but it can be harder to find. The Lenovo is well built and has a foldable kickstand, so you can adjust the angle of the screen to your liking, and it even has two screw holes on the stand so that you can mount it. It also displays the wider range of colors than the Asus and has decent accuracy, so the picture quality is good enough for a portable monitor. Now, 
The last product on the list is Lapal Z1 Gamut if you're looking for the best portable monitor for laptop use and are on a budget. Consider the Lapal Z1 Gamut. It has worse picture quality than the Lenovo ThinkVision M14, which is what you have to expect for low-cost portable monitors, as it doesn't get as bright and has worse color accuracy. However, besides the differences in performance, it has many of the same features. It still has a 1080p resolution, with a slightly bigger 15-inch screen, and the text clarity is great. It also displays a wide range of colors after calibration, and unlike the Lenovo monitor, it supports HDR, but its HDR performance is limited anyways. It offers a few connectivity options, including a mini HDMI port and two USB-C ports. One of its USB-C ports supports power delivery if the display is connected to an external power source. However, with only 5W of power delivery, it's only enough to charge small devices like phones or headphones. I hope you like the video. See you guys next time. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe.